Hi everybody and welcome to Drag. On today's video we're going to explore and understand more about team analytics and reporting inside of Drag. We're going to start by clicking here on the Drag icon on the header of our inbox, then choosing reports. Here we have three tabs above that we are able to view and analyze according to our desire. Starting on our cards tab, we're able to choose the board that we would like to analyze, the user or all users we would like to analyze, and the period of time. Here, the cards are divided by new cards, new emails, and new task cards, which are the drag cards that not necessarily have an email attached to it. This way, we're able to see how many emails a new board has received on a certain period of time and understand how much workflow is falling into these boards and being shared across the team members. Here on my second tab, we have board activity. This also allows me to choose a board, a user, and a period of time. Here, we're able to divide which tasks and features each individual user or all users are using inside of a determined board. This allows me to see how many emails were applied to, how many drags and drops across the columns, how many assignments. This allows me to analyze how each team member is collaborating in the drag boards and see where and how me as a manager could possibly help out each user. On my last tab, we have a leaderboard. This tab, just as the others, allows us to choose a board, choose a user, and a certain period of time. Here on this tab, I have a general overview of how many email replies and how many board activities in total a certain user on a certain period of time has done. All of these reports and analytics gives us more views inside of these workflows. Different from normal Gmail, where unfortunately we can't view the efficiency of our teams. That is all for today's video. Thank you so much for your time.